the millifuries are preheated on the warm base plate, which makes them easier to collect on the hot glass bead as you roll slowly over the millifuries. And now you make a large glass bead, you make it very hot, and in order to increase the, the size of the bead using the volcano, you need to fold the, the bottom of the glass rod back on itself. There it's been done. Here it comes again. Let's fold it back and now reheat. Okay, this is basically where we can start it. You arrange your mini fiori. The mini fiori on the base plate have been arranged in the order that you want to pick them up. And put it on the mandrel. Okay, in the fire, you make the bead, you form the bead completely. And you go a little bit lower and you cut the, the thread off from the glass rod. Get it very hot and slowly roll it over the mini fuels. Paying attention not to knock the handle and onto the table or anything, because any little knock will be a sign for the mini fuels to fall off. And you go in on top of the fire, not in the flame. You need a little bit more time for the millifuries to preheat to a temperature that they can uh, accept the higher flame temperature. You will notice that they start to get red, and that's a sign that you can rearrange that they sit properly. There you'll see an example. Okay, once they start to heat up, you'll notice that the flowers seem to get smaller. So I use a lentil press, a roundish form, to keep the, the round bead. And I lightly press on the glass, but very lightly, just to flatten them. And as I flatten them, I squash them out, that I get a wall-to-wall -wall mini fiori pattern. They shrink, they become round, and the flower gets smaller. So by squashing This process is repeated. You'll heat it very strongly and squash it gently again. It's always just a little touch and go. And the touch and go, never a big strong press. Then you take the heat away from the form too quickly and you'll have a lopsided. Uh, you want to keep the colors bright, you work at the back of the oven on top of the fire. And just go when it's so now, orange, not orange, I'm sitting on top of the flame, right not in the fire, and now you notice I'm going down into the flame and coming up. And this way I'm keeping myself between the fire and the air. And this is the system that keeps the colors of the miniature is bright. They tend to get reduction of colors very fast if you put it only in the fire. So the key, cleaner the bead is to work at the back of the oven and on top of the flame. So the colors are bright. The true colors will return when the bead is cooled down, but it looks okay. And now I put it into a panini oven. Thank you.